Hello everyone, I'm Bob McCraney with This Month in Realty and today I'm honored to be speaking with Maggie Rodriguez. Now Maggie serves the Hermiston, Oregon area with Wind Windermere Group One. So Maggie, tell us a little bit about the market in Hermiston right now. The market in Hermiston is very hot. Um, right now we have 48 homes for sale in the 97838 zip code. I know last time we talked we had 57, so our inventory is down. Um, that being said, in this last month, there were 35 homes that went under contract. This is up from last month's 27. Um, 31 homes sold, up from last month's 21. So we're we're booking. Uh, we have had, yeah, there, there's been three expires this month, but that's the same as before. Um, very, so tight market. very tight market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what would the first step be for somebody who's looking to sell right now in, in your market? Uh, if you're thinking of selling right now is a great time. Uh, what I would highly, highly recommend is talking to an agent and calling up your agent and saying, hey, I want to sell my house and having them go through your house and coming up with a number based on the market. Um, I know right now a lot of people are tempted to do for sale by owners, which I, you, you can go that way, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. You want your house exposed to as many people as possible, especially with how many people are on the market right now. You want the highest exposure to get the highest price for your home. Yes, the national statistics will bear out that people who do for sale by owner generally sell for a lot less profit than if you go with a representative. So tell me, I, I know you work in kind of a, a, a more rural area. Tell me about what somebody would need to think of, maybe the top two or three things they would need to think about if they're buying a property outside of city limits. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of calls lately for people looking for acreage. There's been a big push to get outside of city limits with water rates and, and taxes and whatnot. Um, things to think about when you're moving outside of city limits, uh, definitely water rights. Um, in our area, there, there's the option of both state and irrigation district water rights. Um, if you don't have water rights, you're limited to how much you can water with your domestic well. Um, so unless you want desert, um, which we have a lot of here. Um, you do want to make sure there's there's water rights. Um, if a property doesn't, there are opportunities to get them, but it is much easier to find one with water rights already there. Excellent. So I would never have thought about that. So Maggie, how can somebody get a hold of you? Um, my best way to get a hold of me is by my cell phone. Uh, my phone number is 541-314-8609. Okay, say that one more time. 541-314-8609. And what's your email? Uh, mrodriguezhomes at gmail.com. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for being here. Next month, tune in to see Maggie again on This Month in Realty and to hear from other real estate experts around the United States and Canada. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Bob.